Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sudarshan, Medical Officer at Miracle Integrated Health Center. Today with us we have Dr. Pradeep, who is Chief Medical Officer of Miracle Integrated Health Center. So he is here with us to demystify the most scariest word today, cancer. So let's start with the session. So yes sir, today cancer has become a very scary word. So whenever people hear about that, they immediately panic. And uh, why is this sir? What is cancer actually? Can you explain it in a simple term sir? So cancer, mostly now we are scared because uh, the word cancer is connected with death. So whenever people think about cancer, we always believe that we are going to die. And if you see, uh, we all believe that cancer is an incurable disease as well. So this is mostly because we treat cancer uh, like a genetic disease. So we try and target the genes and try to kill the cancer. Whereas cancer is as simple like diabetes, it's like a metabolic disease. So if you can target the metabolism, cancer can be dealt and healed like diabetes alone. Okay, sir. So you were very clear about you're not treating the genetic aspect, but the metabolic, sir. So what do you mean by that, sir? Can you be a little more simplified about that, sir? Yeah. So when you speak about metabolism, so if you see all the human beings, basically, we all are made up of metabolites, like, you know, so uh, like you are looking handsome, but you are made up of a lot of cells and cells are nothing but your carbohydrates, cells are nothing but your lipids, cells are nothing but protein. So whenever there is a impairment in the body, so we don't require medicine, we don't get a disease just because we are not taking medications. We get disease because we are not taking sufficient nutrients or the nutrients are not getting absorbed inside the body. So we are not able to repair the cells which are endangered. So cancer like any other thing, it is formed in the body, like every one of us will have some of the other cancer cells which is formed every day. But if at all your body has sufficient nutrient available in terms of your food, if you are sleeping well, the nutrient absorption is happening well. So that will take care of repairing those cells so that we don't get symptoms per se. But as you get old or you are get exposed to too much of uh, pollutants or there is a lot of oxidative stress inside the body, that can lead to irreversible uh, problems inside the cell cellular level. So that we can sell as uncontrolled growth. The cells which are normally dying at, the age, at one year, two year, one day, two day, it does not die because there is a lack of uh, metabolic change inside the body. So this is what's basically uh, dealt with um, what which lead to cancer. So when I say about cancer as a metabolic dysfunction, so you see like every one of us every day we are getting metabolic dysfunction. Like if you see diabetes it is a long-standing disease or psoriasis it is a long-standing disease so we call in different way one is a metabolic disease another one is an autoimmune disease however when you look into cancer uh, cancer is not dealt as a metabolic disease just because you know uh, we don't see there is any change in the metabolism there is no rise in the blood sugar level there is no rise in the blood pressure or there is no rise in the cholesterol which is not associated with cancer but cancer also share the similar kind of phenomenon like a diabetes so if a person for example you are suddenly seeing an increase in your blood sugar level so that is signifying that there is something wrong with your metabolism so if you get alert at that point of time and try and heal yourself by bringing back your blood sugar levels to a normal level that can actually lead to correction of your metabolic dysfunction however you treat the rise in the sugar level without considering why there is a rise in the sugar level on a longer term you will be taking a medication but still your blood sugar will be under control but you are still metabolic dysfunct and this can lead to different type of changes within the cells and the cancer cells eat a lot of glucose and that can lead to hypermetabolism of cells that what we call as cancer so when we target the cancer cells uh, we target it with different drugs but the metabolism is still at stake that is how we are not able to target the diabetes or reverse the diabetes uh, with a, a drug similar way cancer cannot be just addressed with a drug you need to target the metabolism that's why i call it as a metabolic dysfunction okay sir nice it was very clear uh, you were mentioning about addressing the root cause rather than simply attempting for a symptomatic relief yes sir if i'm not wrong now you are into the field of integrative oncology and what do you do in miracle sir what is special about that what is integrative oncology and what is the scope of it sir how do you see patients there so basically when you see presently the way cancer is being dealt across the world 
So some of us, when we get a diagnosis, we go to a modern medicine physician and we go with the conventional care like chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, target or immunotherapies. Some of us feel that modern medicine have a lot of side effects. So some of them go to Ayurveda, some of them go to naturopathy, some of them go to Siddha and everybody individually treat this. So cancer is like a, uh, the story of the elephant and the blind man. So some people say that cancer looks like a trunk. Some people say the cancer is like a wall, but cancer is a whole elephant itself. So you cannot address cancer in bits and pieces. So integrative oncology or integrative medicine is approach where, you know, integrate best of every systems. So when I earlier told that cancer is a metabolic disease, the long standing metabolic dysfunction can lead to genetic change, genetic mutation in the body. So most of us treat the effect, not the cause. The genetic mutations are the effect. The cause is the metabolic dysfunction. So integrative oncology basically integrates treatment of the cause as well as the effect. Whereas your modern medical approaches like a surgery or a radiation or a chemotherapy or a target therapy addresses the genetic mutation, what is changed and visible in your scans. Whereas your metabolic corrections uh, through yoga and naturopathy, through dietary approaches, through siddha, homeopathy, this addresses the root cause why there is a metabolic change inside the body. Like by integrating simple therapies like fasting, by integrating simple therapies like hydrotherapy, you integrate something like uh, water therapies and all these things when we integrate together, that can address the root causes of cancer which is leading to a uh, genetic mutation which is happening. So integrative oncology is mixing every possible treatment options which is available in the world when I say mixing, it is not like the just giving everything. It is mixing in a right proportion where we can correctly identify the cause and treat it. And on a longer run, the persons can achieve a remission without any side effects. That was a very clear explanation. If I'm not wrong, it is like seeing both the sides of a single coin. Yeah, the front and the back. So now being said that you've been combining Siddha, homeopathy, naturopathy, and along with conventional medicine, do you think this is safe, sir? How, how much is it safe? Do we have any side effects in this, sir? Yeah, so in usually if you see most of the cancer, whenever why cancer is very scary thing, because people, whenever you look at cancer, the one thing which come to our mind is like you're losing hair uh, or you are losing your body weight, you're not able to eat your food and eventually you're suffering and dying. Okay, so we consider this as the effect of cancer on the body. However, it is not the effect of cancer on the body, it's the effect of cancer medications because you know, uh, we all want everything inside our body to be normal and that is in a very quick fashion. Like whenever you take a PET scan for cancer, so you see a lot of hypermetabolic cells inside your body. So your conventional physician want to treat the scan at that point of time. So you just push on as much as drug or as much as radiation or you can remove, cut and remove certain organs so that your next scan would be clear. There won't be any lesions inside the scan. But eventually what will happen? Every person do not react to the same way for a drug. Okay, so if your body is taking 200 microgram, my body would be taking 1400 microgram. So it will be different from person to person. So whenever you are bombarding a person's body with severe doses of chemo or surgery or radiation, what happens? It affects the normal cellular functions as well. So people slowly start getting deterioration because it is affecting their normal being. So whereas in integrative oncology approaches, what we do, we do not just put the entire weightage only on the chemotherapy or radiation or surgery. We substitute the chemotherapy doses with other approaches like high dose vitamin C, you put a ozone therapy into it. So the need for high dose of chemotherapy or surgery or a high dose of immunotherapy becomes lesser. So we at Miracle, we give low dose of chemotherapy with the support of our oncologist. When we give low dose of chemotherapy, the patient don't experience any symptoms per se. They don't feel like the next day they're not able to get up for one week or they're not able to eat food or their hair is falling. Such kind of things do not happen with us because pre and post we prepare the patient for chemo and it is a very low dose chemo which we are giving which is not affecting the patient's day to day activities. So they will be more active after the chemo which we give in integrative approaches uh, compared to the conventional chemo approaches. So integrative oncology is the safest way where we can deal with the cancer similar like a diabetes on a longer run we can definitely achieve remission from cancer. So, which means that one is compensating the other rather than giving a negative effect. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. So, thank you for watching. I hope you are more curious about to know more about integrative oncology and what are the myths about cancer. So, we will continue in the next episode.